Hey everyone, something a little bit different this week. I am in the motorhome uh, and this is going to be a kind of the behind the scenes of a video I'm doing with this guy here. We have Adam Maguire, um, he is uh, Maguire Visuals and he's going to potentially make a video of me driving around finding somewhere to ride. Yeah, hopefully. Um, weather permitting and yeah. find plenty of spots. And also we have this. GoPro Karma. <laughs> Neither of us have ever flown a drone before. Now we'll borrow this from Drop and Roll from Danny. They've given us permission to experiment and try flying it. Um, yeah. Who wants to be the guinea pig? Uh, I think if it goes wrong, blame on you. So All right. <laughs> so yeah, when um, we get to the, a point we can use this, we're going to break this out and try not to actually break it. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes kind of figured that while we've still got internet I'm going to try and work out how this karma works starting off with an update to the software the firmware however you want to call it so we're going to try that try and get it all working maybe without the propellers and um, yeah set it off in well no I'm not going to set it off in here but yeah gonna see if we can actually get this thing to work while we're doing that Adam is making us lunch what we've we got today uh, pot noodles. <laughs> <laughs> the athlete's diet. Oh yeah. Right, let's see what this says. It's doing something. That's flashing greeny yellow, don't know what that means. No camera found. Install the camera before flying. What do you mean install the camera? Oh, just killed it. Sorry, I should put the legs down. That's better. I've got other buttons here, let's press this one. Okay, so it turns out I need to do a lot of GoPro updating to get the Karma to work. So while that is, oh, it looks like it's done it. That's done it, but we're watching a bit of a Ben Cathro with the Montsanan downhill um, reports. So yeah, we're gonna watch this and then we're gonna get back to the GoPro. Okay, that was a long drive, but we are up just past Ullapool to Rue Lighthouse, I think it's called. Ross had recommend, Ross MacArthur, that we come to a lighthouse that's here. This is as close as we can park. The lighthouse is down the back there. So apparently it's rocky, but my eyesight isn't the best. I'm not seeing that many rocks. Hopefully Ross, if you're watching this, you better not have let us down. You ready to do this? Yeah man, let's go for it. <laughs> All right, so, we're making our way down, got the karma strapped to my back. I had a dream last night that I was flying the karma around and I was sat on top of it. <laughs> I don't know whether that was a prediction or not, but we're getting close to these rocks. They're looking a little bit better now. There's a beach as well. But, oh no, there's some rocks over there. It's fair play. Ross, top tip, I think we might be onto something here. All right, here we are down by the rocks. They're kind of looking all right. Ross has, and you know Ben Travis have been bigging up this place for the last few years as a really, really awesome place to come around trials. And I don't know whether it's one of these ones when people big stuff up too much. You come there with this massive expectation, only to be disappointed. And gotta admit, I am a little bit disappointed so far. I'm really hoping that when we go around the corner over there, there's like the most insane rocks in the world. Hey dude, you got a friend. <laughs> cool, just had a play on some of these rocks. Man, it reminds me of the old days, competition time. And one thing I've actually done to my bike to make this a little bit easier is, I've got a DeBaron tire on the back, a soft compound. The stiffer sidewalls, soft com compound tire, makes such a difference riding rocks. It feels so stable, so nice. Just got a couple of clips, but there's a couple of things I want to try as well. Adam's kindly gonna point the camera. Uh, I'm just going to try and recreate some, I guess. Yeah, man. Cheers, Go dude. One dab. <laughs> this 
this stuff so tech. I've been trying to channel my inner Chris Acri. Uh, I need some practice. I'm so, so rusty at this stuff. Oh, I miss riding rocks, they're fun. There's a drop gap just back there which we filmed. I reckon that's worth a, a vlog treatment as well. on a bit from those rocks over there. I actually found a smooth bit of rock, which is pretty sweet, and there is a slight kicker there, and then there's a big rock there. I reckon I could probably use that kicker to get up there. I just have to watch my uh, my handlebars on this rock here, because I reckon that could be a proper knuckle basher. But we'll give it a try. I reckon this bike needs some scratches. natural there's so many places you can roll your ankles so scary well that was weird I'll get a bit of rain <laughs> right so I might wait till the Sun comes out again try and link that in a bit more of a line <sighs> cheers dude okay Ross Ben I take back what I said. These rocks are awesome. Check this out. It reminds me of Porth Call. Gonna be some pretty tech riding in here. Gonna have a search, try and find some lines, get them filmed with Adam, and then maybe try and get some for this camera as well for behind the scenes. Maybe some lines that we don't use for, for Adam stuff. But this is sick. This place is awesome. <laughs> okay, but before we go riding, we're gonna take our chances. We're gonna try and fly the drone. Good. Right, so we're gonna try and unpack this. Hopefully everything still functions. It seemed to function earlier, but yeah, let's give this a try. It's a fancy bit of kit. Somewhere flat. You know what? For the first time ever trying a drone, some really rocky um, landscape next to water seems perfect to me, so. Tell you what, this touch screen is pretty fancy. Three, two, mm. one. Take off. Oh, now it's raining as well. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> that is the most nerve-wracking thing I've done for a long time. Classic, absolutely. You've seen the rain over there. Oh, oh shit. I honestly don't know if these cameras are waterproof or not, so I'm gonna switch this off and shelter it. <laughs> okay, maybe next time we start it on somewhere less rocky, perhaps up there. <laughs> gonna wait until it's less showery and then then bring it out because I have no idea if that's waterproof or not. And yeah, first flight went all right. Cool, we ended up getting a, a couple of shots of the video down there. The rocks were bigger, but I actually didn't find as many lines. It's a bit weird, but they were fun to ride. Didn't film any on this camera just because my microphone battery is actually running low. So I need to go into town and get some more. But we're gonna try and film a drone shot of, us, of me coming down this path towards the rocks. And I'm not sure if you guys, guys are better to see, but we've got double rainbows over here. Lovely. Yeah, man. Sick. <laughs> Those clouds, though. I hope they're not coming this way. Right, going for a Mark II version of trying this drone. Found somewhere a lot flatter. The idea is you are gonna follow me down the grassy hill towards the, uh, the lighthouse. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Calm, my cat. It doesn't like this metal. Is that okay, GoPro? One. There we go. Last load of the drone. It's actually pretty easy to operate. Do I have a go? Seeing that you're going to be doing the actual filming. Let's go for it. <laughs> I guess so we just try it? Wing it, yeah, let's yeah. go for it. <laughs> well, we are back in the motorhome. Uh, I think that was fairly successful, wasn't it? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Like. Uh, we just uh, the kettle's on. So we're going to have a cup of tea. Uh, I'm pretty hungry, it'd be nice to make some food, but we just had a bit of hassle from I guess a local woman who doesn't appreciate us uh, parking here. There is a sign outside saying no overnight parking, but there isn't any sign saying no parking. Uh, I think she thought we were going to park here overnight, which we weren't. We appreciate the signs and we, we play by the rules, um, but she still gave me a bit of a, a bit of all that, so <laughs> a bit frustrating. So I think she wants us to leave pretty sharply. So I said, you know, big, if we can make a cup of tea, she said yes, so uh, I think maybe making some food might be pushing it a little bit, but you know, she gave me a bit of a bit more attitude than I think I deserve, so maybe uh, we'll punish her by having some food. <laughs> okay, so our lady friend just came back and gave us a bit more attitude for taking too long to have a cup of tea, so uh, we are gonna be polite and move on, although it's so annoying. Having that door open for literally 30 seconds has just let in the entire population of midges in Scotland and these are some fer fer ferocious wee bastards. Oh my god, they're literally all over the place. She literally just came and stared at Adam through the window and didn't say anything, didn't knock, just stared at us and then we were like, hi. Yeah, no, she was like totally just like standing at the window like looking at me and I was like, well, at least knock or say something yeah, instead of no. just standing there. That was just really weird. Yeah, it was so weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there she is. One just does that every night. <laughs> I can imagine a lot of people do come and try and park here. I can imagine that's why she's got a bit of a short temper. <laughs> but I'm sure she is a lovely woman. <laughs> Just <laughs> not when people park uh, in a really beautiful spot in Scotland near her house. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's not even night time yet. Yeah, no, she's got nothing to do. She keeps like coming out every 20 minutes to make sure nobody's no, parked there. Like, the sign says no overnight parking and it's not overnight yet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. We just spent the night in one of the quietest spots I've ever stayed in. Check out the view. Pretty sweet place to be able to stop and stay. But 
the midges are the worst midges I've ever felt in my life. I've never had so many so quickly just come and pounce on me. And I've actually got to go out there and switch off the gas in a moment. God. Adam had the privilege of being the first person to sleep in the razor dull bed. How was it? Yeah, it was pretty good actually. Like, you sleep alright? Yeah, it just felt like a normal bed. It's really comfy. It was nice. Awesome. Okay, so we were driving down and one of the spots that we saw on the way up we wanted to stop at, we actually just ended up just driving straight past, there wasn't anywhere to park. Then there was somewhere to park and I overshot it, so these roads are pretty sketchy to turn around. We just carried on, but we were driving along and I looked out the window and I saw a spot from a bridge and it looked flipping awesome. So we're just going to take a look now, we haven't really seen it properly yet. Bit of a trek to get to it, but oh man this looks so sweet. Oh. oh, okay, well you couldn't see all this from the bridge. <laughs> this looks amazing. However, I've never seen pictures of this place. I have no idea what this is even called, but this is a bonus. This is way better than the place we were going to go to. Just like one massive slab of rock. Oh, this is sweet. Okay, only one thing to do. I need to go have a pedal around and try and find some lines. So I'm not sure if you guys can see, but we've got like lumps and undulations and all sorts. Looks like they've got kickers up these rocks here and up that rock there. It'd be awesome if we can get some uh, streety stuff on here, maybe some manuals. It'd be really cool to do some spins, but I was fine with rocks like this. There's all those little lumps that catch you out. So I'm just going to see if you know, just boost up these things. And where those people are stood back there, looks like there might be some stuff there as well, but. I'm going to try and get a few clips on this, just warming up, and then we'll get Adam to point some uh, real cameras at this. This is awesome. Reckon the water is. Pretty, pretty deep, boy. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay, so we have just arrived in one of the most scenic glens in Scotland, Glen Etive, and we're gonna go right down that river there. Now there are people swimming. I hope I don't disturb them. I hope they don't disturb me. It's a bit too much skin going on <laughs> but yeah we're gonna go down try and get some clips uh, it's quite gorge like I'm kind of hoping I might be able to jump over some of the water I really hope I don't get too wet uh, but yeah just got a few shots rolling into the Glen uh, unfortunately the karma <laughs> suffered uh, a couple of broken winged <laughs> we were gonna try and get a really cool overhead shot coming in but uh, a tree yeah someone didn't spot the tree and crashed it straight into it <laughs> I have no idea how much new blades are, but they're coming out of your wage. Nice. I'm not even paying him. <laughs> <laughs> well, that didn't really go to plan. Uh, we rode some of the rocks, got a few lines, but then it absolutely chucked it down. Uh, I was going to go and take this camera down afterwards, maybe show you guys some of the stuff, but yeah, it chucked it down, and now those rocks in the river are slippier than lubed grease, which is not ideal. So a lot of the lines, and are really, really cool lines down there, uh, are just too dangerous to ride so I need to come back here either for another one of these videos or just a vlog episode and get some of those lines dialed because it'll be worth it. So we've just arrived at the falls of Dockart. These rocks look amazing and it's not raining which is a bonus. We've got some uh, nice drop gaps, slabs, 
some water features. I've driven past, past this place once before and I've always wanted to stop, so now's my chance. <laughs> I need to do some exploring, find some lines for Adam to film, uh, and then try and get you guys some bonus features as well. So, explore time. Right, see, now I've got to warm up. May as well get the vlog action on. Adam's gonna film that for me, thank you very much. Uh, just have a ride around, try and find some lines. So I've seen potential drop gap here, potential drop gap there, so I guess just ride around see how things feel. We've got absolutely amazing light at the minute as well. This is awesome. Should we swap cameras? Yeah, let's go for it. Cheers, dude. Okay everyone, that is the end of that video. I didn't film an outro at the time because I wanted to see the final video, make sure it all actually went well and got uploaded. And I also wanted to use some of the unused clips in this video. If you haven't seen it yet, it's down in the description. I've put the link down there, go check it out. And please let me know if you wanna see more stuff like this in the future. I wanna say a massive thanks to Adam Maguire from Maguire Visuals for taken up this challenge of making me look good on camera at such short notice and of course to Sunlight for lending me the motorhome and making this trip possible. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone. Give me a subscribe, a like and a comment. You know the drill. Uh, ride fluent and I'll catch you all next time. By the way, I'm actually abroad at the minute. This is a hotel room. I'm with the drop and roll guys. So the next video is a bit of a road trip one. I'm trying to film what I can. So yeah, I hope you guys can be patient. Next week, hopefully it'll be a good one. Anyway, take care everyone, have a good week, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.